so when people, I know that I've had a lot of texts from people, pretty people, pretty knowledgeable, saying, "What do you really think is going to happen?" What, 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 give me some hope. Uh, what do you really think is going to happen? Well, I think you mentioned I'm a big believer. I'm a Christian. I believe that God's hand has always been um, when we pray and we seek the Lord. And like you saw President Trump, you had the people in the cafe praying over President Trump. Like in such a day where such a historic, sad day for our constitutional republic, you saw so much hope and how President Trump is just, he just receives prayer. I'm sure you've seen how he receives prayer and he's so humble and he, he just is, when people pray for him, he means it. And so I think when we truly seek the Lord's hand, there is nothing that's impossible. And I think, um, I have faith that things are going to work out and I have great hope for our country. I think we're seeing, we're living in such terrible times right now with the Justice Department and institutions weaponized. But I think God is also moving um, in, a, in a mighty way. And so I think it can turn around. There's nothing, Trump has never been prosecuted on anything. Look at all the different cases that have come against him since the time that he stepped down those escalators, mm -hmm. right, in New York. And nothing has ever um, stuck. So It really is very scriptural. It is. Like yeah. if he weren't yeah. being prosecuted to the degree that he is, um, you might not believe that God had his hand in this to the degree mm -hmm. that I believe he does. And yes. I think a lot of people, um, it makes you wonder how many people have come to Christ just watching this man take a million knives in his back, right? Yes. And continue to stand. Yeah. Uh, the Bible is very clear to stand and then to continue to stand. Yeah. And that's really what God requires of all of us. But since he's done it, in, since Trump has done it in such an exemplary manner, it really does seem to... Um, be a, really a living testimony, even though I'm not sure that's how Donald Trump ever set out. I was on that campaign back in 2015 also, yeah. and I, and I, it, you know, I, people would say to me all the time, but he's not a real Christian, right? He's not a, but then you look back at the people in, in the Bible that God chose from Paul, who was a murderer, you yeah. know, to Noah, who was a philanderer, the list goes on and on, right? And, and so it, you just don't really know who God's going to choose and when, but the real test, doesn't it really come from um, what is it? I love the saying, um, God doesn't equip those he calls. He calls those people and then he equips Equips's them. Own. Isn't that kind of what we're seeing now with Donald Trump? Yeah, I absolutely. Seems very oddly yeah. equipped, and right, for such a time as this. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's such a time as this, like Esther. And it's, it's one of the Second Chronicles, too, when we don't, Jehoshaphat, when we don't know what to do, we look up to you, right? And then the Lord fought his enemies. And I think that's the same thing. We're just looking to the Lord that he'll fight the, our enemies when we can't see a way. God always makes a way. But there's a big group of people out there, Tara, who don't believe in God, mm -hmm. who hate those of us who believe in God, who are, it seems to almost be spiraling into their sinfulness. And I've read in the Bible where it says, God turns people over to their sin. They, if you continue in sin, God will turn you over to that sin if you're unrepentant, unrepentant. And I see people that it looks like maybe that's what's happened to them. Like there's no way almost back for them because God says he'll spit you out in certain instances, right? Um, so you take someone like Rachel Maddow, for example, and I would love to see her come to know the Lord. That would be a great thing. Yeah. But, <laughs> Don't um, we all. <laughs> yeah. but um, you know, she made the suggestion yeah. that a plea deal should be made, that Donald Trump should um, be told he can be off the hook on everything so long as he won't run for president. Doesn't that just expose their original motives, Tara? Exactly. And talking about Rachel Maddow, I actually also have a personal experience with her. And just when I left the National Security Council, Rachel Maddow came out and said I was fired from the National Security Council and listed me amongst others. And so again, it was a false narrative. She just makes stories up that actually are not factual and she can get away with it. So she just creates these these false narratives, and I think uh, I think the American people definitely have opened up to the mainstream media and how they no one listens to them anymore, and just they're a propaganda arm for the Democratic Party. Where do you think this ends? What are your predictions? I think Trump is going to be our next president in 2024, and I will think will he serve from prison so. or will he serve from the White That's House? That's a good question, but <laughs> <laughs> either way, he's not going to stop. Uh, running for office, and I think, I think if anyone can do it, President Trump can. There's never been a president that has had to endure as many obstacles as President Trump, and he no. is just relentless. So I, I think no matter what, I think, but it all goes to election integrity too. There's so many things, and Congress doing something, holding our agencies accountable. Um, I know that we have a lot of the hearings. 
um, for in Congress right now, but hearings, we have to see more than hearings, mm -hmm. right? We have to see accountability. Mm -hmm. We have to see consequences. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully with the Republican-led Congress, we'll see some of those. What's your message to people like Mitch McConnell, who haven't had a doggone thing to say about any of this, who are sort of hiding in the background, hoping that Trump will just go down and they can replace him with someone establishment so that life can continue for the deep state as, as usual? Well, I would think a perfect example is yesterday, what you saw, all the people that came out yesterday to support President Trump. He has solid supporters. People are not going to change that. They come out in the masses for President Trump. And we are a country that it's we the people. And President Trump has the hearts of the people. And I think you still see the spirit of America, right? You still saw that. Like, we still have that. that